Hey guys, Monkey from Board Gamer here. We're here today answering the old age question Should I buy a Banu Merchantman in Star Citizen for $250? Now, <laughs> the answer is, for me, yes. I love this ship. Um, it is a mini capital ship. And I'll tell you more about why I've come to this decision. But also try and convince you to also buy one because they're awesome. So for $250, um, this is a lot of money. I should not, I, I do not condone people spending money they cannot afford. Um, treat it like gambling if you can afford to lose the money that it's fine to do. Um, the Banu Merchantman comes with 24 months insurance, standalone ship, and it comes with the VFG industrial hangar as well. Banu traders are renowned for their merchant prowess, travelling the space lanes and trading with everyone from humans to vandal. Their sturdy, dedicated trading ships are prized beyond all other transports, sometimes passing from generation to generation of Banu. The Banu Merchantman is available for the duration of the anniversary sale. If she comes on sale again before the game is released, she is unlikely to be as cheap as she is, $250, or to come with that two years insurance. She is a big ass trading ship, and she's going to be fast and agile for her size. Weighing in at a massive 811,000 kilograms mass. Over that, in fact, that's half the mass of an Idris. She is huge. Uh, at the moment, as specs, we're looking at up to three TR6 engines propelling her, although I expect they might add something to give her a bit more engine power. She also has 12 TR3 thrusters. Now, it's important to know that the Banu is very conceptual as a ship. They've said stuff about her that they're going to stick to, but some of the, the stats and everything, as with all the ships, are in flux. So just bear that in mind. Just giving you um, an idea why you should buy her at the moment and what she's likely to be. She has eight crew stations. Um, though I expect she has tons of room for visitors and riders. She has a max power plant size of 6, which is going to be a lot of power, and a max shield of 7. That's a hell of a shield. The Banu looks amazing, and as I said, she is absolutely huge. She has a length of 100 metres, a beam of 135 metres, and a height of 70 metres. This is beamier and taller than the Idris, but under half the length. Weapons and hard points wise. Now, very little is known about exactly what's going to go with on the Banu because they keep on changing the stats, they keep on talking about um, other bits and bobs they're going to do with her. People were talking about a nerf previously, so we don't really know what she's going to be able to uh, fit on her exactly. But we do know that she's supposed to be a blockade runner and that a ship of her size is likely to have some pretty sick weaponry. So she's going to be able to handle herself in a battle, although perhaps not against multiple pirates. She has a cargo capacity of 6,000 units. That's over 21 Freelancer Max's cargo sizes. That's insane. That's huge. You're going to be getting so much money from trading with this bad boy. She comes with a jump drive. She's also going to be the largest ship that can land on a planet. She's going to be a trading beast. Some serious money can be made with her. And I think she has some other amazing uses too. Because she's the only ship of her size that can land on a planet... I mean, the biggest ship of size landing on planets is a great um, claim to fame. I'm planning to use her as a mini corvette and drop ship. So when my friends are online, I can drop them into battles, hopefully with that Titan armor and that sort of silly stuff, um, and uh, be able to defend them in space while, while they're doing whatever they're doing. Um, and when they're not online, I can be a trader. I can fly around being a floating bazaar. If you want an amazing multi-crew money-making vessel, then... This has the potential to be retrofitted and suits loads of purposes. This Banu is for you if you have the $250. You want to be a getting a ship that makes money for you in the verse. And I think she's going to have loads of potential. Hope that's been informative, guys. As always, in my opinions. Um, please tell me if you've got different opinions or even if you agree with my opinion. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will see you next time. Take care, guys. Bye!